so happy about these heated clouds. <laughs> I should have put on a second layer of pants. Yep. Everything else is actually good. Why did you actually not wear your heated gloves? I don't know. Because you're stupid? You're stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid in love with you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you remember at what point we even derived the bikes last year? Uh, yeah, no. okay. So kind of the same. Range of dates, eh? We met up at Roadster and it had snow there, remember? Oh man, yeah. And it was so cold and we were like, yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. But it was maybe a week later than now or so. I think that sounds about right. snowfall in October too where we were like oh no it's so early or was it actually November when you just look around like this is like the trees and everything it doesn't seem too cold in especially as soon as the Sun comes out oh actually with the Sun it's nice <laughs> but it's still only 10 degrees oh with the Sun it's actually really nice and warm It's October 22nd, which means it's definitely towards the end of the riding season. And today is a ride that we actually go to our Holiday dealership and buy the fuel stabilizer so that we can winterize our bikes, which is, I think, one of the saddest days of the riding season for sure. <laughs> we just went on our last longer motorcycle road trip last weekend um, down to Asoyas passed by the spotted lake so if you haven't seen this video yet I will link it up in the, the description there for you um, but today is really just or like from now on in general it's just smaller in town rides or we don't a go too fast or too high up into elevation or too long because it really gets a little bit a little bit chilly now we don't see that many motorcycles on the road anymore just a few crazy ones like us <laughs> We weren't able to ride all week because usually as soon as we go to work now and come home we can't ride to work with a bike anymore because it's too dark and too cold and then by the time we get home and start starting to get dark again as is and cold as is so it's unfortunately it's just time time to put them to sleep just now that i got a new battery too <laughs> oh hey this just means we won't be able to take Lona on a ride this year with a platform anymore, unfortunately. It just happened too fast now and I don't have enough time to finish the platform when it comes to the upholstery. So we'll see how, how it will go in the springtime. And that also means I can really take my time in finishing the platform up in a real good manner and find the right cushion for her. And then just home training really because this year we will keep our bikes um, at home so we won't take them away for winter storage which means even down the line if we just want to on a weekend want to take her down to the garage train for half an hour and go back up that totally will be doable too just getting up and down the platform with, without panicking might be not a bad idea no matter what it will take you along with the process <laughs> We are not alone. <laughs> the instant power is what I love the most about these bikes. <laughs> Look at this, it looks more like spring, not like fall. How oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's someone on the water, water skiing. Oh my gosh. He must be freezing. <laughs> Only 
in the Okanagan. Look at these nice yellow trees. <laughs> I love those clubs. Fresh cross. Mm, I love that smell. Beauty. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this bottle. Oh my gosh, look at this little cutie bike. Mm -hmm. The old working in pink. Oh, they have boots on sale too. Okay, you line up, I check out the boots. some new boots and look at this beauty like it's dark but brownish dark it looks real cute next year I'm gonna buy myself a new pair of boots for sure a few moments later We for sure forget that it's just the end of October now already. basically this mystical creature and it's supposedly living in Lake Okanagan and there was a sailor that just took a picture of something that looked like the head of the Ogopogo picture falling right here <laughs> and once in a while people claim that they see the Ogopogo and stuff like that so as soon as something like that comes around and has a picture proof very exciting than usually <laughs> but now let's get back to business <laughs> uh, the hatching post has an Oktoberfest and we're definitely gonna join them and check it out because apparently they also have a polka band and I mean Bavarians in Canada in a pretty cool tavern who has an Oktoberfest I mean we have no other choice so let's see you guys over there Oh man, that was so much fun. Delicious, like 
the, the pork hock was just huge and the beer was tasty but now it's starting to get dark outside so we really have to try to get home because I mean who wants to ride in the dark especially towards the end of the season where it's already colder anyways when the sun isn't shining so we're just heading home now and then cuddle up in a warm blanket or something because you can feel how much cold it gets now for sure and then I hope we will see each other in the next video and you're riding safe if you still can otherwise have fun otherwise <laughs> and then I oh and if you haven't done it yet make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video because it's gonna help me tons and takes you only a few seconds and then we will see each other in the next week's video see you guys later bye